Hey everyone, welcome back. Hopefully this series has been helping you tremendously in getting up to speed with Python and developing. And don't you forget that we have that money back guarantee, so if you want a refund on these free videos, there is a $10 refund fee, but other than that, it's a great way to get your money back. And with that, we're just gonna jump into creating our own Python files, because you know, you're probably getting bored of just using this interactive mode and doing five plus five. You wanna do something a little bit more complex, you know, get your money's worth. That's what I'm gonna be showing you in this video. Do you need help advancing your coding skills? Check out my new program, Code Breakthrough. Code Breakthrough offers hands-on learning with Python and data structures, algorithms, and interview challenges. With a supportive community and regular new content, Code Breakthrough will help you get hired or advance your career. For a limited time launch special, use the link in the description to get 20% off your subscription. See you there. All right, so from the interactive mode, what you can do is you can go to File, and say new file and wow that was it we just created a python file except the title here is untitled which probably we don't want to deliver an application called untitled so what we can do is we can actually save this by hitting file save or command s or control s depending on if you're mac or windows and now you save as some file so again just file and then save and then give it some name so we can say hello dot, and I don't think we have to say dot py. I think it will default to doing that for us. However, in the future, if we're working with a text editor, which we're going to do in the next video, you might have to put that dot py. So we'll just go with hello and, and see, make sure it does it for us. Hit save. And now we got hello dot py. So you can see it added that dot py for us. And that dot py is to indicate to the computer that this is a Python file. So that way it knows how to treat this file. It works very similar to a .txt or a .txt file. However, when you have a text file, your computer doesn't try to run it, it just opens it. When we have a .py file, it knows that it's a Python file and that is used for programming. So that was like a really terrible explanation, but pretty much we need to put that .py in order to write in Python. Now what we do in here is not going to work the same way. You know, when we press enter, we don't get a result. So how do we, you know, execute this? How do we make it do stuff? Well, I'll show you how to do that. All you have to do is go up to here, hit run and say run module. And it's asking us if, if you want to save the file and hit okay. You have to save the file anytime you make changes. And this is what happens when we run our program absolutely nothing happens because the program is completely empty. So we need to change the code to actually do something. So if you notice, we actually went back to the Python shell. Now we're back to these little arrow keys. So how do we go back to our file and how do we, you know, develop in an easy way? So the best way to do this is probably to hold this, put, put this on the left and then put the, the program that we're typing on the right. So now when we run, we can actually see it on the left over here. So that is how I would develop if I was to develop using this file we just created. And maybe decrease the font size a little bit so we don't get so much of this overlap or just drag things around. Oh, nope, didn't like that. Don't do that. Don't drag guys, don't do it. Let's try this again. And it's frozen in full screen guys. This is a uh, quality control right here. I think the windowing can be a little touchy inside of Mac sometimes, so I'm not blaming Python for anything here. So let's get things back to normal, and then we'll learn how to write our first program. So we're back in the shell, and if you need to reopen your Python file anytime, you can just go File, Open, and find that file, hello.py, and hit Open. All right, so now we are back to where we were, and maybe this time I'm not going to actually put everything in full screen, but just kind of position things nicely. So that way... Nothing explodes. All right, there we go. And inside of our Python file, just copy this code here. We're gonna say print, put some parentheses, and then double quotes, and then hello world. So a hello world is kind of just like a really basic program that prints hello world to the screen just to make sure everything is set up right. Now we can run this thing by hitting run module or the shortcut F5, and that'll show on here. Hello world. So that is how you create Python programs and then execute them within the shell.
So use the Python program if you need to do any complex line by line stuff. And then you can use the shell if you need to evaluate things on the spot, like again, evaluating different expressions. So that is one way to create Python files, but there's actually another popular way, and that is to use a more developed text editor. And there's all kinds of different text editors out there that you can use. In the next video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to install one of my favorite text editors and run Python code within it. So stay tuned for that, and don't forget to hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.